Today on Rexray, we're going to talk about Payunk Sprott Lumbar Puncture Needles. My patients were having an unusually high incidence of spinal headache after lumbar puncture, so I decided to switch to an atraumatic needle. Unlike the sharp tip of a quinky needle, the Sprott needle has an ogive shape, which is considered atraumatic. It parts the dura rather than cutting it. The downside is that it's quite blunt feeling, so it takes quite a bit of pressure to get it through the skin. That's why we have introducers. As you can see from the packaging, one is basic and the other has wings. They have very sharp, traumatic, tapered tips so that you can get through the skin and muscle. These are short and not designed to go in the CSF space. Once you're satisfied with your angle of entry, you put your atraumatic needle through the introducer and remove the stylet to expose the little side port so the CSF can exit. At this point, you could just do whatever you normally do, whether it's getting a pressure measurement or injecting some contrast. Keep in mind that when you do use the introducer, you lose about one centimeter of length. And that's only going to be a problem if you have a very obese patient. It's available in sizes 27 to 22 gauge and lengths from 90 to 150 millimeters. I just want to point out that the Sprott Lumbar branded needles are the ones with the wings. This product has a shelf life of five years. It passes both the drop test and pickup test. And I just have to say, this needle feels high quality in the hand. Overall, Pionk makes a great lumbar puncture needle, which is atraumatic. Thanks for watching.